What's up everybody, Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com back with a new video today and today we're going to take a look at an accessory from a company called Hoagi. I'm going to go ahead and say that's how it sounds but this is the square lens hood from the company Hoagi that is for the X100V. We're going to take a look at it, we're going to see how it fits and we're going to see if you can utilize the stock lens cap that your Fuji X100 comes with. Let's talk about it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and punch that bell icon so you'll be notified of all the content we post to this channel. Here we talk about camera gear, unboxing, cinematography, you name it, tips and tricks. Uh, big Fujifilm fan, so if that kind of content is something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, punch that bell icon, and hit that thumbs up button so that way YouTube will put these videos out and give you more great content for you to check out. So as the video title suggests, we are gonna take a look at this square hood that we purchased recently for our X100V. Now the X100 lineup is what brought me back to the Fujifilm lineup of digital cameras, given that it was one of the first cameras that they released that had just that old school classic feel to it. And the old X100 to me was one of the most revolutionary cameras that Fujifilm ever produced. And the reason why I feel like this was the most revolutionary is because it brought a lot of old school uh, film photographers over to digital. Again, this is my opinion because of its just aesthetics, just the way it looks, the way it feels in the hands, the way it's a rangefinder, just the overall build of this camera is amazing. And that's why in my opinion, other than some internals and maybe the lens getting a little bit bigger, the overall body and aesthetics has not changed. Now, the first one that I purchased was the black and silver version, but ever since probably like the X100S uh, on, I've gone with pretty much all matte black or the full black, uh, the blacked out versions. And so the hood that I got is all black as well. And again, it's from a company called Hoagi. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know down in the comments, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it from this point forward. Um... I wanted a square hood because just the aesthetics of it as well. I really like the way it looks. And so when you do a quick search, other than a square hood, which is an amazing, amazing uh, piece of kit as well, but it's a little bit pricey. And so I wanted to go with more of a little bit of a budget option, which the Hawagi on, in, on uh, Amazon retails for about 38 bucks. So it comes in two pieces. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart right here. Uh, when you get it in the box itself, it comes with the lens hood and it actually comes with the adapter ring right here. Now the adapter ring does allow you to screw on 49 millimeter threaded uh, filters. However, the filters that we typically use on this channel are 52. So if you're stepping up, uh, using step up rings for a filter, this will not work because when you utilize this to step up your rings, then you can't utilize the hood any longer because the hood itself screws onto the threads on the front of the adapter itself. So what you do is if your Fuji has that initial kind of adapter ring that's on the top, you have to unscrew it like it's shown right there. And then you utilize this adapter and all you do is just screw it on like so. And then the hood screws right on to the top. And that starts getting a little bit tight as you get closer to establishing the hood looking straight at you like that and perfectly square. Now, the one thing that I will dispute, and they seem to have changed it and created their own uh, lens hood or their own lens cap, I'm sorry, is previously they stated on their Amazon description that it would work with the original uh, Fujifilm lens cap here. But it just does. I mean, well, OK, so in theory, it does go on. But look at that. I mean, that is it's off. It's completely unlevel. This thing right here is it, it, it technically does go on it, but it does not look good at all. So they released their own lens hood, which you can get in combination for an additional $10. So 47 bucks uh, on Amazon. And it's the lens hood and their version of a cap, which they say will go on. Um, I didn't see the combination when I bought this. So I did just order the lens cap for it as well. So when it comes in in the next couple of days, we'll take a look. We'll revisit the video, post a quick probably shorts um, showing if it does in fact fit comfortably and smoothly and snugly on the lens hood from Hawagi that fits on your X100V. 
But that wraps up this video, everybody. I just wanted to show you the quick unboxing, if you will, and just kind of first impressions and first looks of the square hood from Hawagi that goes on the X100V. Um, we're going to start doing a little bit more videos on the X100V, so if that's something that you're interested in, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're interested in. Uh, we'll be going through some of my favorite uh, Fujifilm recipes for the JPEGs that come out of this thing, which are beautiful in my opinion. And a lot of times, I, I really don't utilize the RAWs anymore unless I absolutely need to fine tune something but the data that comes out of these jpegs especially when you use the baked in jpeg recipes that you can get anywhere pretty pretty amazing in my opinion and really really harkens to why i went with a fujifilm camera and you can do that with virtually all of the fujifilm cameras those jpeg recipes which again in my opinion create some amazing amazing images but again that wraps up today's video Thank each and every one of you for stopping on by. Again, we are on the road to 3,000. As of today's recording, we are at 2,790. So really, really close to 3,000 subscribers. I thank all of you for stopping on by. And I'll catch each and every one of you beautiful human beings in the next video. Peace.